been gone a while, now I'm back. Let's take it slow. Today we'll look at dice. Hello and welcome to episode 68 of Leave Lore Revolution. You can imagine I was very disoriented when I started playing again. And that's my first session, in fact today. 4.18k gems. So that's the first thing I looked at. The gems, are there new or gem upgrades? There are. Uh, I just forgot that there are tabs. <laughs> but there's this uh, material pub, claw materials count plus one. So anything I can buy, this this is not gems, but I'm just looking here. Uh, faster auto facts, reduce the auto facts time by 5%. It costs the uh, sand leaves. Yeah, I'm pretty rusty at this game. Again, we'll look at dice in a moment, but gem business, very nice. So I'm gonna buy every one of those that I can find. And it used to be that the trades were 10 gem maximum. I want to thank Norby right away and uh, the Discord community for helping me. I had a bunch of questions uh, so, I so I could be able to make this video today. So I'm still buying the gem business stuff here. So I was told the maximum once you really um, optimize, maximum you can get in a trade is 20. I think I'll be able to get 17. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend time in MLC. That means, uh, oh, I don't even remember exactly. It has to do with a tower or something. Is a new uh, community leaf? Not one for me. <laughs> That's okay, I'm not really asking for one. Maybe one day, who knows? But I've been so absent anyways, you know what I mean? So I gotta prove myself again. So I continue to buy gem business stuff, even with coal leaves. Uh, no, coal leaves, sorry, correction. I don't have enough coal leaves. Now there'll be a way to make way more leaves now because there's been some uh, additions. There's a lot of updates I missed. And that's why I said I want to take it slow. By the way, I check your timestamps if uh, you ever get bored, but we're about to get started on uh, the dice. And then uh, here is what I meant here. Advanced trading education. And now it goes to 50. I go by max, I'm missing 12 levels. Once I max this out, I should get 20 instead of 17 per trade. And then, um, Let's see what I'm doing here. High quality graphics, yes. A little better this way. A little bit annoying to hear me uh, dig. I didn't know where to go. What do I cover? I don't know which one is new uh, in terms of uh, community uh, leaves. So where do I go, right? So that was the question. Last video was on Bob Venture. I always been honest with the fact that I don't like it too much. So I started clicking around, so we're going to skip that. I'm going to go directly uh, to the point where I decided to go for the dice. And this is the place. By the way, as we do this, half of my videos right now, the most viewed in the last 48 hours, are all LBR. Thank you so much for continuing to watch this series despite most videos being pretty old. And this is where we're going to go in the dice area. Let's see the name of it. I don't remember the name. It's a dicey something, dicey meadows. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we'll explore it. I'm not gonna go very far for, uh, with it because it's day one for me uh, playing dice. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll explore what it is and give you my impressions. So here, I, it seems I can fight leaves. It reminds me of grass cutting in Corinto where you fight grass. Now I'm gonna fight leaves. Very interesting. So these, are, uh, I didn't understand at the, at the time, but uh, the X just means it's not active. It's not available yet for auto roll and auto progress. I can buy this with gems later. It's expensive though. We have cursed dice. Uh, so we'll cover that. Uh, I, here I did not know exactly what it was. Well, it gives you buffs and that's the shop. So we have Azurite, Azurite leaves. We'll unlock those, but not the Neobium, whatever it's called. We're not gonna unlock that, unlock that today. But the other leaves will unlock them. Man, I think it's gonna be a long video. So you got dice count plus one, dice slide sides plus one, and victory slots plus one, plus one. Uh, roll timeout, okay, for both uh, battlefield and cursed dice. The converter was my goal at one point, and I'll get the converter today. So it's not too bad. We'll cover it, but not fully. And we'll go back to it when I become really strong. Also, I'll show you my DPS at the end of the video. Um, so I'm just exploring here, okay, because it's the first time I see this. So I was told this 
is releasing. By the way, if I say anything wrong, let me know in the comments, I'll, I'll fix it, okay? But I was told uh, this, as you play the game, it comes uh, with brewing, same time as brewing. So I have to take everybody's word for granted. So I roll the dice, I do some damage based on my roll, and I have to wait 30 seconds for now, but it can go down with uh, some upgrades that I just showed you, minus 0 0.5 seconds. Also, in the gem shop, there are some. And then there's this guy here, that's cool. And um, I'm gonna skip this part, but I was looking for uh, dice, and it's I'm gonna find it right there. So it explains what dice is, and also uh, what is cursed dice, because I did not understand it. We're gonna skip this part, otherwise this video is gonna last like something like 40 minutes. Right away I found what I believe to be a bug, and people on the Discord community told me to uh, do a report. Save reward, right? You should get points? Well, I don't. So I made a report, it, apparently it's not normal. So the way it works, uh, you get bonuses. Um, right now I say next bonuses at 50. If I hit save, I'm gonna net eight points right now. If I continue to roll, it's fine. But if I, if I hit a six, then uh, I cannot roll for uh, 60 seconds. Here on the left, you can increase your critical chance. Critical multiplier, I don't know about that yet. See, I just failed, so I get nothing. Let's jump forward right away. This big dice in the middle drops uh, dice points and they stay on the screen up to, I think, 19. And then there's uh, five more that uh, get, you see zero out of five, but well, there's five more that are ready to get released as soon as you pick them up. I'm gonna show you that later. Uh, so I got 48. I can buy dice sides. Uh, so what is dice sides? Maybe you can go up to seven, probably. Yeah, here's a seven right there. There you go, see? So I was looking on that one. So I hit roll and I didn't, never hit save yet. I kept rolling, but eventually I should hit save. I did not understand how it worked originally. I said, what does this do? I don't get it. And why does it say next bonuses? Of course, with no research. I did, do you think I really read all this stuff, uh, the uh, instructions? No. But I'm about to uh, understand how this works now. 11 points it would be a good time to save. And I did not know they would stay those. So I kept picking them up. And eventually I realized that they stay, as I said, for some reason, up to 19. I'm pretty sure it's 19 anyways. Um, so the goal is to, to accumulate 50 points. And it go, gets more expensive. And you get uh, upgrades, permanent upgrades. You're going to see that. Here I'm just trying to understand what the hell is going on. Because this is all new to me, of course. Hit roll again. Now I would get 14 points, 19 points, 23 points, you know, and then curse. All right. So dice codex will show you some uh, dice that you can hold, and those dice it will give you certain uh, bonuses. We're gonna get some today because there's two DLC I'm gonna buy today. Uh, remember, I'm a pay-to-win player. Uh, it's not the best word, pay to win, but I'm not F2P, I'm the opposite F2P in Seasons. I Seasons, I uh, did reach top 1% in F2P and top 1% in P pay to win, or the main, they call it the main leaderboard, or whatever. Uh, but I prefer uh, pay to win because it's much more fun at the beginning, it's much faster, less pain. So there's two DLC that I'm gonna have to buy to be the most efficient possible in next season. One is it? That's something that would have motivated me to come back earlier if there was a season. That's something I was talking about. Ask anybody who talked about LBR with me. I said, if there was a season right now, we'd play the game right now. There's no season. Where are they? I love those. So I'm about to roll again. For those that have never seen this, uh, you know, so that's, that's how it feels. But eventually, again, you can reduce the waiting time with upgrades. I already said that. So dice drop value. That is, if I understand correctly, in the battlefield. So uh, four points, uh, and then I look at this, the dice point, this really confused me because it's not working properly. I, th I think it's not working properly and people seem to say it's not working properly. And then I curse again. <laughs> Enough of that, let's go where I succeed. Notice when I hit save how I don't get any dice points. And also notice that next bonuses now say uh, 45. I got five out of 50 for a new, uh, new buff. And as I said, they get more and more expensive. So I've shown you that. I don't need to show more. We'll move forward to another element of uh, 
this, uh, for me, new feature. By the way, let me know in the comments when this got released. By the way, I was still trying to see how I'm pointing to this. I was like, what the hell is going on? I don't understand why I get nothing. Anyways. So here I'm going to get a second buff. I'm not going to show every time I get one towards uh, the end of the video. I'll show you the accumulation of all of them. But see, now it costs 100. Now I need 50. Oh, no, no, I need another 50. I already have 50. So another 50 when I reach 100, I'll get... Um... By the way, the dice reward with Splier, well, I get nothing. I think it's ha it has to do with the, the dice reward um, from Cursed Dice. I'm almost certain. That's just uh, an assumption. Anyways, uh, as I said, I'm going to show you the accumulation of all the uh, bonuses I get. Not one by one, just to save some time and I continue to roll like this. Okay, and here I'm successful. Successful again. Successful again. Really stretching it. I tried to get 10, I suppose. No, I can't save, but anyways, let's move forward. This is what I was talking about earlier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And 5 out of 5 ready to, you know, spawn right away. So why 19? Why not 20? I don't know. <laughs> Strange number. Um, if there wasn't a limit like this, the whole screen will be full of dice and maybe would lag or something. I'm not sure. Is it a balance thing? I don't know. Anyways, strange number, but it's cool because you can EFK a bit, come back and pick up stuff. Now I got 4.34k. Uh, what do I buy, right? Uh, everything's so expensive. And these are the tabs. Actually, Norby reminded me of the tabs. Hey, check the tabs, man. I said, oh man, yeah, of course, of course. You forget so much when you stop playing, you know? So there's a so all sorts of stuff I can buy now. I'm gonna let you read on your own. You can pause or um, rewind. But um, I need a lot of gems, so I'll do trading. Okay. So dice, battlefield, auto roll, automatically yes. I want this. I want to fight mobs automatically. Level progress, I don't need it. When it comes to auto roll, I need 6,000 because I'm going to need auto roll and auto save. And you can set how much, uh, what's, the what's the threshold to, uh, to save. Uh, so it's not going to happen in this video. By next episode, sorry. I'll have it. And you see what, this, what kind of stuff I'm buying right now. Um, so I'm going to have to trade, as I said. And I got to do it manually because right now it's automated. I may have removed barrel c13 the highest used to be 10 as i said the highest i saw for myself was 17. but i gotta do it manually here's 16. Uh, barrel is gone now because he was doing all sorts of strange trades if i do it by, by hand i don't know how many trades i can do at once but it's in the hundreds of gems per two minutes it's not that bad I just gotta be there. I don't have to be like uh, every two minutes, get every gem I can uh, to perfection. I can, you know, I do a batch. If it's two minutes, three, four, five, ten minutes, and then I can do another batch. But it's gotta be all, all uh, gems. And I use boost, which cost, uh, I forgot the name, but the green essence. I have so much of it. I don't remember how much because it's been too long. Here's a 17. That's the highest I ever got. As I said, Norby told me it's 20. Now, if he's wrong, but he's not wrong because he's one of the best players in this game. He doesn't agree, but I say he's the best FTP player there is in seasons. And I will not budge. <laughs> and here I'm pointing. I don't know why I'm pointing to this. Let's move forward. Time to unlock a new area. Glinting Thicket. What does glinting mean? I don't understand this word. English is not my first language, as you probably know. Please let me know in the comments what this means. I don't know that word. What am I doing? Oh, I'm getting the high-tech Ace of Spades, just uh, so I can get some of those leaves. I'll get small amounts, but over time it's not that horrible. Now, to get more, I would think... Uh, well, I did some research for once. I check on Discord. There is this garden that you can grow stuff in. We'll look at that in a future episode because I don't really understand it. But it uh, gives you more leaves. So it's uh, some sort of bonus. Um, I can look it up right now, I'll tell you. 
Leaf value multiplier in your nature setup, whatever that means. Honestly, I don't know what it is. I just got to do more research. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, I did find uh, the nature season thing, which is permanently unlocked because I'm going to buy some DLC later in the video. But there's also another thing that looks like some sort of your garden that you set up. Maybe I misunderstood. I know I seem very confused, but it is confusing because I left for too long. When you see this, I'm usually done with the video, but it's not the case. Look, I just unlocked this azurite leaf. Additional of such leaves plus 25% and leaf value plus 25%. Now I'll put it wherever, I don't care. And I'm going to unlock something else. I think there's two challenges I haven't done. I think they're all though. Additional coal leaves. I'm going to need that big time if I want to get out of fire fields. Oh, here, I, I just got a right lick. I just sort of forgot. I don't think too many people care how I set up this, but I, I want I want all the leaves to be in order. I'll mess around with it on my own. And there's another one I can get. Sacred leaves. This one. 25% more sacred leaves and again leaf value multiplier. I really need that leaf value multiplier as I was talking about um, this feature earlier uh, just a moment ago that I researched and there's two things that are unavailable. I know one of the two, okay, it's one of the two leaves that are uh, part of dice stuff and there's a, another leaf that I don't even know what it is at all, not even close, but we'll find out in the next few episodes. What's nice about all these updates is it gives me a lot of um, footage to uh, a lot of content to cover. Now, um, I'm a bit rusty on piling. I'm gonna pile, takes forever. So what I'm doing is I'm auto using gravity and wind. Now I got 2.64K. This is enough for my goal, but I couldn't find it. So let's watch me uh, look for this thing like an idiot. What I'm looking for is a converter. No, what? Sides count? Hold on. No, no, it's 25K, it's 25K. Yeah, 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 sorry. So I just bought an upgrade, that's it. No, I need 25K and I'll get it, no problem with this setup that right there. Yeah, it just takes some time. Just gotta be patient. Again, it, it all happened in the same day, several hours, that's it. DLC, time to spend money because I do seasons that are P2W. I need to get all the packs. So there's the dice pack and the natural pack that, don't that, that I don't have. There's also these gems pack, but I'm not gonna spend money on this. Unfortunately for me, this is in US dollars and the Canadian dollar is weaker. So I'm gonna spend 40 US dollars on this. No burner for me, the, con the series continues. I don't mind spending money on games. So I'm gonna buy the dice pack. So it's really nice. So ideally I get one rare die, when I pick die, one dice uh, points, uh, one die, one times dice points. What does that mean? Anyways, 40 gems instantly. One legendary die, one epic die, one mythical die, 7.5k dice points, 250 gems. Now on nature pack, I don't understand it fully because, but at all, because I haven't played with it, but it's a seasonal event. Now it will make it always available. I'll get more uh, bonus of sorts and I'm gonna get daily stuff with it. Um, and I think I wanna make this next episode. No promises, but I just don't understand it. So I'm going to buy the stuff without showing you my uh, credit card number. Do you think I'm crazy to buy this? Well, I do enjoy uh, pay to win season, so why not? And I have a decent budget when it comes to games. So I got these things. I don't know what they are. We'll cover that in the nature event. So look at my daily rewards now. Every day I'll get this. Yeah, the nature event video. We'll, uh, we'll look at that. Event shop. No, it's Halloween soon. So I think uh, the event... I think at that time, New Day just had come up. And there's the... It's this boss that you fight, and then nature season is the thing I'm going. I'm gonna try to explore next episode, maybe again. 
I don't understand how it works, but there's unlock butterflies. It doesn't let me go into it yet. It says you have to unlock butterflies. What is a butterfly? I don't know. Well, I know what a butterfly is, but not within this game. I don't have a clue and I'm interested. By the way, uh, 21.22k, I need 25k for what I want, which is a converter. Hey, look at that. I got all these things. So this is from the pack that I bought. Okay. Um, so what are they? So if I go there, BLC, so imagine the seasons, so strong, right? Boar Venture, beautiful, because I don't like Boar Venture too much, so this is gonna help me uh, push through Boar Ventures. Uh, curse, Curse is always welcome, of course, up to infinity, I suppose. Everything counts for damage. And leaves, leaf value multiplier is so important. I even have Wish Curses, right? It's just printer is useless. I, I think it's useless. Maybe if you disagree, let me know in the comments and why. So you can do a bunch of things there. Uh, I didn't really understand fully what this was. Please remember that that was like the first few hours I came back to to the game. But it seems that each of those uh, dice that are in my bag can give me dice count and side count. So how many sides are on the on the dice and how many dice I get when I succeed in battle, if I understand correctly. Now the thing I did not understand is how do I know the value of each because I have an epic, mythic, uh, you know, rare, this, that, and I find that, I'm, I'm about to find it, if I don't find it, I'm gonna fast forward. Now here I'm just finding, uh, fighting this, uh, yeah, whatever, I'm just finding whatever. Here I have, by, by the way, I only have three bonuses, which is not much. Uh, but where where do I find information of, for instance, uh, how much legendary gives me compared to, let's say, rare, right? So I'm about to find it. Here I'm looking at what I want to buy. So I got 10k. By the way, the blue the blue die. I don't know what it does. I don't have a clue. Uh, here pointing to the 21k. And this is where you get it. So you look on the right. I'm gonna zoom in. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, mythical. So this is where, there we go, I'm pointing to it. So this is where it shows you. So for instance, if I go uh, Borbs, well, it's a rare one, isn't it? So I go Borb, rare, you know, epic, sorry. So Borb and Show Reward plus 0.32% um, what? It's not very much. Is there a way to increase this? You can roll, so I don't understand roll really well, so there's, Power roll, again, I don't know what the blue dice are. So yeah, there's a limitation to what I understand because I just started with this dice thing. It's not a completely 100% full uh, assessment of this thing, but we'll, uh, we'll come back to it when I understand it better. At least it's a good first view of what dice are. So here I'm getting, it says two more one, uh, two more re needed, one more needed. Now I got board venture, board venture reward plus 16%. And if you look at the top last rolls, 59, so if I go higher than 59, is the maximum 100? I don't know. Is it a percentage? I don't know. So these are things I can, can tell me in the, in the comments. I would really appreciate it. I can, I'll probably eventually find on my own. 16% more board venture rewards. If I roll again, oh, 17.41, 1.41, because I reached 60 instead of 59. But if you get a lower number, you do not get a better uh, bonus from that item. So any valuable item like this, of course, uh, leaf value multiplier plus 52.92%. Highest number I got is 44. But if I keep hitting roll and I don't get 44, I get lower than that. There is no increase. Uh, that's the way I understand it. Remember, if I see something, if I see something wrong, please correct me. It's very important. It's not a guide. It's, this is a playthrough, right? Is it, did I ever make a guide on LBR? I don't think so. I, I rarely make guides on any game. On any game, I don't feel like I have the authority <laughs> on this. Well, maybe Adult Slayer, I certainly made guides. So I, I didn't care much about the rest. It's really um, Bar Venture and Leaf um, Multiplier. Look, I got 71 and increased the Leaf Value Multiplier. So again, is there a maximum 100? I really don't have a clue. Um, so anyways, I'll play with this and a few episodes from now, I'm going to show you all the progress that I made in DICE. Okay, let's take a look at my current damage and then wrap this up. So I'm going to load my damage pet set, but I wasn't sure because I have this pig there. Uh, I think it's correct. I do have the crab, the fish, the butterfly, 
I was like, is that it? I don't know. But anyways, I have the right um, uh, crafted leaves set. So I'm gonna go fight the energy guard, which I killed in December 2022. Top right exclamation mark. There is a recommended video on me killing that boss in December 2022. Think about that. So let's see how much damage I have. So I was trying to find it. I see it right now. 4.25, 4.45 E81. What do you think? Uh, it's even going up. I don't know why it's going up, to be honest with you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's my damage. As we speak with, you know, with this, uh, the fish. There's a new fish that I don't know how to get, but I'll get it later. That's my leaf sensor. And these are tier six, by the way. So this helps him, me getting more damage. Uh, I don't know if it's enough to kill uh, higher bosses than Energy Guard, I don't have a clue. But let me know what you think of this amount of damage for a guy who has been gone forever. And that's our usual end screen. Made it in, I don't know, 26 minutes or something. Not too, too bad. Um, I'm gonna continue playing at BR every day, it runs 24 seven. I got 80. I, how much? 8700 hours? Of course, mostly AFK. So I'll make a special video at 10,000 hours of gameplay. Well, again, AFK. I'm not that crazy. I don't know when next episode will be, but I'm back in the game. Okay, it's a pleasure to come back. Uh, a lot of people ask for videos. And once again, thank you so much for watching the old videos. I really appreciate it. That's what I got for you today. I did my best to explain my first impression of DICE. But later I'll you know issue corrections or I'll show you more progress. Okay. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe or hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.